And welcome back, YouTube. Thank you for tuning in, as always. Today I would like to review Fallout 4 from the top of my head. So, nothing is scripted. I will just share my thoughts with you on the game. And let's start by saying that, overall, I think that Fallout 4 is basically that old jacket. Everyone has one the old jacket in your closet. You haven't worn it for a long time. And you want to wear it. You want to wear it because it's so familiar and it fits so right. But you're not wearing it because it's old-fashioned. You know, it's out of fashion. Or it's full of holes. This is how Fallout 4 is, right? Fallout 4 is basically Fallout 3.5. It is slightly better than Fallout 3. And Fallout 3 was a good game, so Fallout 4 is a good game as well. Slightly better than good, I'd say. Now, let me share with you the things that I think are good about Fallout 4. Let's start by saying I love the look and feel of it. The colors are a lot more vibrant. I like vibrant colors because they have an influence on my mood. I do not like to play games that look grayish, black and white. It just make, makes me quit the game. I don't like looking at it. I don't like that aesthetic. Fallout 4 has colors, which is good. I like the design of Fallout 4, the world. The world actually looks like it was inhabited uh, before the bombs fell, it looks like it was designed as a as a world that once was, right? Not an empty wasteland like Fallout 4, because in uh, Fallout 3, I should say, in Fallout 3 there was a lot of emptiness, right? A lot of emptiness, a lot of wandering. I love the sound and music of Fallout 4. Quality. Top notch. No problem with that. In Fallout 4, there's lots to do. Lots to do. A lot of content. Worth your money. Definitely. It's a lot of side quests, a lot of characters, a lot of NPCs. It's great. I love the perk system. I love the leveling. I love the town building. Because the town building is an integral part of the world as well as the gameplay and the story and it has its benefits so that's great I love the shooting of Fallout 4 you know I love sh I, you know the guns I love creating guns I love the shooting I love the enemies there are a lot of them and some bosses they're cool so there's a lot to love about Fallout 4 it's actually a good game but there's certain things that I don't like about Fallout 4 and all these reviewers, all these day one reviews that came out don't really mention this a lot and it's all nines and tens which I think is it's just mind blowing you know this is not a nine of a game really not it's a seven or an eight but let's let's just let me talk about the things that I didn't like. I didn't like so much the setting, even though it was well designed. You know, I was hoping for a more epic setting. A bigger city, I don't know. Boston, I don't think, is very interesting as a city. But this might be personal taste, right? I don't like the fact that Bethesda again used their Skyrim engine. I don't think they've spent four years on this game. I think they've probably spent two years on this game because the engine is the same, basically. It is unoptimized. It's the same engine. It's full of bugs and glitches. And low resolution textures as well. And that's just, just unforgivable in a, this time of age, uh, this time and age. You know, low resolution. Why let the modders do this? You know, the Bethesda should have done that. The animations look ancient. 
I don't like the animations. The stiffness of all the characters. It's just everybody's just standing around, NBC is just waiting for you to to engage in conversation. The main story I didn't like. Why? Because within the hour they give you the dog, they give you the power armor, they make you leader of this bunch of people. They basically throw all the good stuff at you and it's like why? You know, where's the progression, right? Another problem with Fallout 4 I had is that it seems to lead you by the hand a lot. It it just never lets you explore on your own merits. I mean, the map is littered with waypoints and, and markers and stuff and sending you certain directions and nothing is left to chance, it seems. It's this feeling. I want this, I want a feeling of freedom of an open world that gives me that, I don't know, how to... Sp just throw me in this world and let me discover on my own merits, basically. Right? I didn't like the fact that there's no karma system. You can blow up anyone, doesn't matter, really. In Fallout 3, you, 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 you pissed off a certain person, then there were consequences. Nothing of that is here anymore in Fallout 4. So, all in all, I mean, Fallout 4 is just not a perfect game. It's not a 9 of a game. It's not an 8 even. It might be 7.58. Because I think that Bethesda should go back to the drawing board and start by creating a new and better engine. That's the first thing. Then hire some good script writers, right? Because the main story just sucked again. I think. Right? Pacing. They should learn from this and, and make sure that there is benefit in small things. Don't throw all the good stuff at a player, but make them want more. Make them want to explore more. And hire Obsidian Entertainment for the story, basically, I, I'd say. But, you know, it doesn't matter. But but the, the, the wasteland, you know, the post-apocalyptic setting offers so much, and Bethesda just doesn't seem to capitalize on it, on the potential. They can tap the potential here, but they have, again, not done that. Again, uh, you know, all in all, let me emphasize this, it's a good game, Fallout 4, but it should have been so much better. It, it really, it is a missed opportunity. So here's hoping that mods will fix things and uh, add extra content. And Bethesda can redeem themselves with expansions and season passes, whatever, and create that maybe a little more of a, a smaller, confined stories. And um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. Again, a good game. Liked it. And I hope you liked this video. I'm Again, I'm doing this from the top of my head no script, and uh, let me know what you think, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye!